Good morning. Very excited for Jam to be at Micro Mobility America for the first time. And uh, we want to tell you a bit about our vehicle, our market, and where we see the future going. So Jam, Jam's a brand of electric low-speed vehicles, as James said, manufactured right here in California, and has been a market leader in the space uh, for decades. And Wave Inc. acquired the business uh, almost two years ago, and we're carrying it forward in new and innovative ways. We want to talk about how we believe we're redefining mobility. So the first question is, what's an LSV? Well, I'll start off by telling you one thing it's not, which is a golf cart. And if you want to see me get riled up, call it a golf cart. And I'm very sensitive about that because what an LSV is, is the street legal motor vehicle, which is a significant difference. It means it's designed and regulated to be on the roads. It has a, it's regulated by the federal government under NHTSA and at the state level as well. And of course, a four wheel vehicle with a top speed of 25 miles per hour can generally go on roads anywhere in the country posted 35 and under. So it has a unique space in our mobility ecosystem here in the US, which is different than how vehicles are regulated in Europe. And one of the reasons why these types of vehicles have not yet reached their full potential. Over the last few years, mobility has gone through a dramatic transformation. And I believe it's fueled by the rise of electric micromobility on the one end, and it has created now a continuum of mobility, particularly in urban or dense markets. So we have e-scooters and e-bikes joining non-street legal legacy gas vehicles, as well as human powered vehicles on the one end. And now you have our entire full-size motor vehicle fleet going to electrification. And what that's done is it's opened up this space, massive space in the middle for people who are open to alternative forms of transportation, who want the benefits of the low end, small size, low impact, but they want practicality and want the capability of the, of the high end without the overbuilt, over cost and too fast mode. And so we believe there's a massive space here for GEM and similar vehicles to really change how people get around in local environments. And it's not just us who are saying it, our friends at McKinsey project that the mini mobility market could reach $100 billion in the near future. And in fact, over 40% of Americans are open to mini mobility in their near future. And why is that? We believe it's the case because it solves three significant issues in mobility. Safety first. Safety is built into LSVs by a suite of standards under federal and state law. But GEM goes farther by adding different features that make it more robust platform and protection for occupants. High back bucket seats, three point seat belts, roof crush certified roof, all that protect the people inside. But the magic when it comes to safety is these vehicles are also safer for everyone outside the vehicle. We sadly have an epidemic in this country of pedestrian, bicyclists, and other vulnerable road user injuries and fatalities on the road. These vehicles are much safer for everyone around because they're smaller, they're slower, yet they're very recognizable on the road. And so it makes a safer environment for everyone involved. The second issue is efficiency. And many people are surprised to know that over 50% of all roads in the US are 35 and under. And almost half of all car trips are three miles or, or less. So that opens up a massive opportunity for mobility in the right environments. And those environments are everywhere. This is a, a, a map of San Francisco and all the blue lines are roads 35 and under. And this map is gonna look the same in thousands of communities all over the country. It shows you the power of the GEM platform and the LSV classification. Last, LSVs are accessible. We like to say they're open to everyone. They're easy to maneuver and park. Anyone can operate them who can operate a car. You don't need balance, any age. It's a very approachable vehicle. They're the lowest cost four wheel EV on the market as a class and thus accessible by so many more people than full size electric vehicles. And there's little or no maintenance. In addition, it's accessible from a charging standpoint. Our standard charger plugs right into a wall outlet and you can run this to zero, go home, plug it in, and the next day you're a full charge. You can't do that with a full-size vehicle. But we also have fast charge options 
we now, now can plug in public EV charging stations, and we even have solar panels that, because of the form factor we have, get a significant amount of extended range with this platform. And lastly, it's economical and accessible to operate. Three cents per mile to operate a gem. That's because they're two times or more efficient than an automobile. Why? Because smaller batteries, smaller vehicle, lower speeds means more efficient range on a kilowatt per hour basis. So for most of GEM's history, and now it's 25 years old, it's been primarily a commercially faced business. Our largest market is colleges and universities. We're on 500 campuses all over the country. And it makes sense because they were early movers in sustainability. Safety is essential. Street legality is a must because we're how these campuses are laid out. And the small side makes them optimal on road and off. Another significant commercial market for us is microtransit. We have over a dozen end customers who operate shuttles or microtransit operations in over 50 cities all over the country from every corner of the map. And not just cities, but coastal communities, as well as even some uh, uh, remote and rural communities. But as we move the brand forward as Wave, we want to attack the personal consumer market. And one of the ways we can do that is to educate people on how and where they can use them. So we launched Gem Go, which is a web app that shows you all the 35 mile per hour and under roads in your community and gives you the confidence that this is a good option for you. Next year, we're gonna be excited to evolve the platform and make it a navigable app so that you can go point to point on those 35 mile per hour roads. And lastly, we're very excited to hear at Micromobility America announce that we partnered with Joyride to make GEMS connect, internet connected for the first time as an aftermarket solution. So this is gonna allow them to be shared in public fleets, just like bikes and scooters, or provide next gen fleet management for private fleets like colleges and other businesses. So please join us at booth 304 or out on a test track where you can drive that vehicle yourself. Thank you.